guys, this is Little Miss Roxy Bell with my first book review, I guess. I recently, which means today, finished the House of Night series. And I can say that it was a very interesting experience. Let's begin. The plot. So, the plot of the House of Night series, it can be shrunk to four or five books. Neferet is evil. She's trying to become the goddess. Five books. We do not need Kelowna. I think the entire Kelowna business could just be left out of it. We don't need Zoe's 7,000 different love interests because Zoe is mean. I mean, I may not like certain people, and I am mean to them. I will admit that. Everyone is mean to someone. But Zoe just has this very... She is a big hoopist. She thinks she's better than people. Like, in the last book I read, um, it says that Aphrodite was a bitch. And then Aphrodite mentions something. And then Zoe's like, like I would care. And, I mean, everyone has said that before. But it just gives her that radi she's radiating bitchiness, honestly. that That's what I can... That's honestly all I can say about it. But anyway, we didn't need 70,000 different love interests for Zoe. Because I don't know many guys who would want to date a girl like Zoe. Not at all. Okay. The plot is absolutely everywhere. There are just so many plot holes and unanswered questions in this series that I just decided to stop asking and just read it. Just read it, you know? Pretend that Stevie Ray's boyfriend, Dallas, is about to do her, and then they fight, and then I don't know what happens to him until three books later. I, I just pretend to ignore the minor details of the series. So the plot is everywhere. It is a spider web. Anyway, I read the first book. Like every other sane human being on this planet, and mind you, I am insane. I am insane. I read the book and I'm like, this is trash. Stop with the name dropping. The name dropping really irks me. It just gets worse as the book books pro progress. I, I just, like, there's Game of Thrones, um... Sookie Stackhouse, like in Destiny. Oh, Sookie Stackhouse. It's like, oh my gosh. They, they mentioned Glee, True Blood, Sookie Stackhouse, yeah. Um, Game of Thrones. A lot of popular singers. Britney Spears. They did some weird Pamela Anderson's boobs analogy. And my thoughts were, what 15-year-old? Because this is really what age group that the book's are marketed toward knows who the hell Pamela Anderson is. That was like my question. I was just, my god. Pamela Anderson. Who the hell is she? I, I didn't know who she was. I think she's an actress. I don't know. Don't ask. So, so PC cast. I, I looked at her picture and she seems to be an older woman. Is this her attempt to try to speak like a teenager? Because we don't name drop every five seconds unless we are at the Comic Con. Teenagers don't usually name drop, though. I don't know how it was back in your day, Miss Cast, but in our day, we don't name drop. Now, let's say a 15-year-old is reading this. A 15-year-old's mind is very susceptible to things. So she likely think, oh, I can have 500 different boyfriends like Zoe does if I act like this. Zoe is perhaps the biggest slut in the universe. It's like, you can make fun of Aphrodite, but Aphrodite is cool. She's like my favorite character, because she's smart. She's smart, and apparently being smart is equal to being a bitch. These days, so you're either stupid and sweet or smart and a bitch. Anyway, the characters, this is probably what I'm going to close up with, because characters are very bland. They're very one-dimensional. And when I read, 
these characters, I cannot empathize with Zoe. I mean, the way she is, I just cannot empathize with her. I'm just like, please, no, just take her away from me. I cannot empathize with Zoe at all. She's crazy. Just me. Stevie Ray is uh, the Tinkerbell best friend. She's the loyal sidekick, but she gets angry if Zoe doesn't agree with her on something. Kind of like Tinkerbell and Peter Pan. You know what? I'll use that analogy. I like it. Refiam. I when I read about Refiam, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce his name. And um, Stevie Ray, I'm like, oh my god, this is disgusting. Because bestiality is just really gross. That's it. So, thank you for listening to this. And I. But anyway, thank you for listening to this. Um, this is a little Miss Roxy Bell. I will see you later.